stop all the clocks, the one o'clocks, the six o'clocks and the ten o'clocks. As the news that spews from our TVs beggars belief. The grief. Depictions of victims of famine, starving, halving populations, destroying generations, obliterating nature's creations, appears as a perverse entertainment to our nation that's often guilty of latent racist statements and debasements. First-hand footage from third world countries shows screaming faces in places without an oasis, whilst we sit at our tables and fill our fat faces. Corrupt police on the streets attack sometimes meek people with their feet, making them walking dead in, instead of peacefully, patiently, properly biding their time and standing in line. The constant watching of such events, scenes of such offence, can cause an ardent hardening of the artery and a desensitisation. As we watch for free, while parents and children flee from the gore of wars in far-off shores. In this world that's shrinking, we see free-thinking humans abuse free-thinking humans for thinking freely. When will there be no news? That would be good news. Stop all the clocks. The one o'clocks, the six o'clocks, and the ten o'clocks.